All right, so this video is going to go ahead and show you how to actually run the polling presentation that you previously created. So to begin, the very first thing you need to do is to plug your receiver into your computer. Now, depending on your campus, this may already be done for you. Then you'll go ahead and open up your software like I've done here. I then like to double check my receiver channel number, making sure my students know what channel to be on. Now is also the time you'll sign into Responseware if you're using that. So you'll head over to in the upper right corner and select click to connect. You can choose a random or a previously reserved session ID and then hit start session. Just be sure to communicate the session ID to your students. Now you'll go ahead and choose a participant list if you want to track individual student responses. In the upper left corner, you may or may not see your list here depending on your campus. If you do, just go ahead and select at one time. If not, you can just choose the default, which is auto, and then match up your results to your students later. Then we'll head into PowerPoint polling, and we will open the presentation that we're ready to run. Your last step before you run your presentation is to do something called resetting the session. Resetting the session is going to clear out any data that may be a part of this PowerPoint. So in your Turning Point Cloud tab, there's a reset button and then choose session. It quickly goes through your presentation, resetting all of the data. We're now ready to run the slideshow. Now folks, this is no different than a typical PowerPoint slideshow, whether you use the shortcut at the bottom of the window or maybe the slideshow tab at the top. Just go ahead and run through your slideshow however you normally do. Spacebar, enter key, click of the mouse. Once you land on a turning point slide, polling is going to automatically open and your students can begin responding. The show bar in the upper right corner is going to show you how many students have responded. Now I just have some clickers in front of me, so I'm going to put in some data for us. When you're ready to close the polling, all you have to do is advance one time on the slide. So I'm just going to click my mouse to close the polling and display those results. Now if you inserted a correct answer indicator, one additional advance is going to bring in that indicator for you and the students. From here, you just continue moving from one slide to the next, opening and closing polling throughout your presentation. Once you're done asking all of your questions and going through all of your PowerPoint slides, you're ready to save all of your students' results. To save the results, in the Turning Point Cloud tab, you'll select the Save button and then Save Session. By default, this session file is going to save into the software that you're using. So for example, I launched the software from this computer. These results are going to save into this computer. So just be sure you save this session file somewhere you'll have access to it later when you're actually ready to manage the data. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my flash drive. You can rename it if you would like to and then just go ahead and hit save. You can close the PowerPoint to bring you right back to that turning point dashboard. And that's running your presentation. Let us know if you have any questions or need some additional training.